Hello everyone, welcome back to Ace Machines channel. When it comes to hydroelectricity, we often think of massive construction works with huge machinery and equipment. It can be said that this is a great place to apply all the achievements of heavy industry, such as forging and CNC machines. In this video, its machines will explore with you the applying modern forging and machining technology to produce motor shafts and giant gears, and the application of those giant products in the installation of giant hydroelectric generators. Steel billets are fed to the electro slag remelting plant. The electro slag remelting (ESR) process is used to remelt and refine steels and various super alloys, resulting in high quality ingots. Here is excellent raw material soundness for the next forging. Open die forging. The pilot is heated in the furnace and then picked up by the crane an integrated manipulator system and put into a 12,500 ton hydraulic forging machine. Here, the pilot undergoes urban dye forging and gradually changes shape. Open die forging is an important technique for many types of manufacturing. It allows rough and finishing shaping of metal and requires a die that is open on the sides, allowing the workpiece to move freely in a lateral direction when struck. This type of design also allows for the forging of very large workpieces. In some cases, weighing many tons and having great length and width. Some urban die forges can accommodate pieces weighing as much as 150 American tons, 136 metric tons, and 80 or more feet, 24.4 meters in length. Open die forgings can be worked into shapes which include discs, hubs, blocks, shafts, including step shafts are with flanges, sleeves, cylinders, flats, hexes, rounds, blade, and some custom shapes. In this situation, the billet is being forged to form the round shape of the shaft. Forging takes place for a long time and the shape of the workpiece is forged to change shape gradually.
seamless round ring forging. The production of seamless forged rings is often performed by a process called ring rolling on rolling mills. Rough forging a heated pellet between flat dies to the maximum diameter dimensions, then upset to achieve structural integrity and directional grain flow. The workpiece is punched, then pierced to achieve the starting donut shape needed for the ring rolling process. Completed reform is ready for placement on ring mill for rolling. Ring rolling process begins with the idle roll applying pressure to the brief from against the drive roll. Ring diameters are increased as the continuous pressure reduces the wall thickness. The axial rolls control the height of the ring as it is being rolled. The process continues until the desired size is achieved. State of the art gear manufacturing. This is boring mill vertical turning machines for industrial gear manufacturing. The state-of-the-art boring mill vertical turning machines are capable of turning up to 40 feet in diameter and feature leaf spindles for drilling, tapping and milling. The gear plank is then transferred to gear harping and gashing machines this is a specialized machine for industrial gear manufacturing. Advanced gear harping and gashing technologies provide Horsberg and Scott with higher product quality capability and faster speed and fit times for maximum productivity. Advanced gear manufacturing equipment, processes, and precision measurement for high-quality, efficient, long-lasting gears. This measurement machine allows precision gear measurement within 2 microns. In the next section, we will explore the Obervermont work to project to better understand the practical application of the shaft and giant gears. Obervermann Torque 2 Pump Storage Power Plant Voranberg Voranberg Ilwerk, Austria's state-owned energy supplier, is developing the 360 mW Obervermann Torque 2 Pump Storage Power Plant in Voranberg, Austria. The underground powerhouse will be approximately 120 m long and accessed through an approximately 810 meter long access tunnel. The powerhouse will consist of two ternary machine units, a capacity of 180 milliwatt each, and two pumps of 180 milliwatt each. The turbines are expected to have a head between 240 meters and 310 meters, and will operate at a speed of 428.6 rpm.
stator assembly process. The stator has a height of over 2 meters. It is produced by 108,000 individual sheets of paper. The workers had to install these sheets completely by hand. A total of 150 tons of sheet metal was used. A total of 528 copper rods in which the current generated here are used. They are tightly connected to the components that make up the stator. Rotor shaft forging process. There are four rotors corresponding to the four rotor shafts that need to be manufactured. At the forging plant located in Germany, pillars are heated to very high temperatures and then fed into a 12,000 ton hydraulic forging machine to forge the shafts of the rotor. These shafts are then transferred to CNC machining which is a precision mechanical lathe that makes the rotor shaft surface smooth with high precision. Each rotor shaft after production is 1.4 meter long and weighs 36 tons. When all the parts are ready, they are transported by heavy truck to the construction site for installation. Rotor installing process. The rotor parts are collected in the cave where the generator is installed. A worker operating a crane with a lifting capacity of 180 tons lifts the rotor shaft for fixed installation. The next steps are to install the 14 poles into the rotor. The installation must be done very carefully and with absolute precision. On June 7, 2019, the project was officially opened with a total investment of about 500 million euros. It is the second largest power plant operated by Ilwork VKW and is monitored fully automatically and remotely by Ilwork VKW control centers in Vendance.